Ehang VT35 The Ehang VT35 is a confident step forward in long-range electric flight, opening new possibilities for quiet and efficient travel between cities. Developed by Ehang Holdings Limited, a cutting-edge air mobility company based in China, this pilotless electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft was unveiled in October 2025 in Hefei, Anhui Province. It reflects Ehang's vision of expanding aerial transportation beyond short urban hops and into longer, more practical routes. Built for medium to long distance missions, the VT-35 flies autonomously without a pilot on board. Advanced sensors and multiple redundant flight systems handle vertical lift, forward cruise and obstacle awareness with precision. Its design combines a tandem wing configuration with eight lift propellers for vertical movement, paired with fixed wings and a rear pusher propeller for smooth forward flight. The cabin seats two occupants and offers a range of about 124 miles on a single charge, cruising efficiently at speeds of at least 134 miles per hour with close to one hour of endurance. The aircraft measures roughly 27 feet long with a wingspan of about 26 feet, has a maximum takeoff weight near 2,100 pounds and can carry a payload of around 440 pounds. Fully electric and emissions-free, the VT-35 can operate from vertiports, rooftops and open urban spaces, presenting a flexible and forward-looking option for intercity air travel. Autoflight Firefighting Aircraft The Autoflight Firefighting Aircraft brings a hopeful new approach to battling fires from the air, combining electric power with autonomous flight to support emergency crews more safely and efficiently. Developed by Autoflight, a company with roots in China and engineering teams in Germany and the United States, this aircraft reflects a global effort to advance electric aviation for real-world missions. It is part of a dedicated aerial firefighting program and is based on Autoflight's heavy lift cargo platform, adapted to perform demanding response tasks without a pilot on board. Using distributed electric propulsion, multiple electric motors and propellers lift the aircraft straight up before smoothly transitioning into forward flight. Powered entirely by batteries, it operates with zero direct emissions, helping reduce environmental impact while working in sensitive areas. The aircraft can carry payloads of up to about 880 pounds across distances, close to 124 miles, while reaching speeds above 124 miles per hour. It is equipped with four fire suppression canisters, each weighing roughly 220 pounds, allowing it to tackle fires spread over wide areas. Its structure combines fixed wings and several lift propellers built from composite materials that balance strength and efficiency. Capable of fully autonomous operation or remote control, this aircraft is well suited for firefighting missions in remote regions and challenging terrain, expanding the reach and effectiveness of modern aerial response. TCAB Tech E20 The TCAB Tech E20 brings an optimistic vision of everyday electric flight to busy cities, offering a cleaner and quieter way to move people through the air. Created by TCAB Technology Company Limited, a Shanghai-based aerospace company dedicated to advanced air mobility, the E-20 is a piloted electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft designed for air taxi service and short regional trips. It carries one pilot and four passengers, all powered by batteries for smooth and efficient travel. The E-20 uses a tilt-rotor configuration that blends vertical lift with streamlined forward flight. Six electric motors drive its propellers, with four tilting forward for cruise and two focused on vertical lift. This all-electric setup allows the aircraft to operate with zero direct emissions while reducing noise compared to conventional rotorcraft. Performance targets include a maximum range of about 124 miles, a top speed close to 199 miles per hour, and a payload capacity of roughly 990 pounds. Built with a focus on quiet operation and rapid charging, the E-20 is designed for quick turnaround between flights, helping keep urban air networks moving. 
Developed in China with international testing and partnerships, it is progressing through certification efforts and aims to serve cities where traffic congestion and limited ground routes make traditional travel slower and less convenient. Autoflight Zero – Carbon Water Vertiport the Autoflight Zero Carbon Water Vertiport offers an encouraging vision for how electric aviation can extend naturally onto waterways. Developed by Autoflight Aviation Technology in China, this floating aerial hub is designed to support electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft while operating on rivers, lakes, and coastal areas. Rather than depending on traditional land-based airports, it creates a self-contained platform that brings air mobility directly to the water. The Vertiport combines solar-powered energy systems, onboard energy storage, and intelligent dispatch controls, allowing aviol aircraft to land, take off, recharge, and coordinate flights with ease. It supports a wide range of auto-flight aircraft, including passenger, cargo, and industrial models. The layout features a stable landing deck on top, with a technical cabin below that houses flight operations, monitoring systems, and support equipment. Constructed from lightweight yet durable materials, the structure is designed to remain steady in changing water conditions while supporting frequent daily takeoffs and landings. By enabling clean electric flight in marine environments, the water vertiport opens new opportunities for commuter travel, emergency response, and offshore operations. Its forward-thinking design helps connect urban centers and remote waterways while encouraging more environmentally responsible aviation across water-based networks. Condor C-150 The Condor C-150 brings a positive and practical approach to unmanned cargo flight, offering dependable aerial support when and where it matters most. Developed by Dassel Aerospace Technologies in Turkey, this rotary wing cargo UAV is designed for tactical missions that involve moving emergency supplies, medical equipment, logistics materials, or specialized payloads across short distances with speed and precision. The C-150 can fly either fully autonomously or under remote control, guided by advanced navigation and flight control systems that support waypoint-based missions and real-time monitoring. It has a maximum takeoff weight of about 1,390 pounds and can remain airborne for roughly 30 minutes while carrying payloads close to 330 pounds. Within an operational radius of around 12 miles, it reaches top horizontal speeds near 47 miles per hour, making it well suited for time sensitive deliveries. Capable of operating at elevations up to approximately 9,800 feet above sea level and across a wide range of temperatures, the C-150 is built for dependable performance in challenging environments. Its design includes redundant autopilot systems, optional obstacle avoidance, and robust communications equipment, allowing confident operation during both day and night. With modular payload options, the Condor C-150 adapts smoothly to roles such as cargo transport, surveillance, and emergency response, expanding the reach and reliability of modern unmanned aviation. Luftcar The Luftcar presents an encouraging vision of future mobility by blending everyday road travel with clean vertical flight in a single platform. Created by Luftcar LLC, a United States-based company focused on hydrogen-powered transportation, this dual-mode concept is designed to move smoothly between highways and the sky. A road-capable vehicle pod can connect with a detachable wing and propeller module, allowing the same vehicle to drive like a car and then transition into electric vertical takeoff and landing flight when needed. The autonomous cabin seats four passengers and is powered by a hybrid system that combines a hydrogen fuel cell with batteries. This setup feeds multiple electric motors and propellers that provide vertical lift and efficient forward flight. In the air, the Luftcar is designed to cruise at speeds around 217 miles per hour, with a range of up to about 280 miles. On the road, it can travel roughly 150 miles on a full charge, making it practical for daily use as well as longer journeys. Built with lightweight composite materials, the design emphasizes efficiency and safety. 
Panoramic windows create an open and comfortable interior, while distributed electric propulsion adds redundancy. The modular wing assembly can dock and undock as needed, offering a flexible and forward-looking approach to personal transportation that connects ground and air travel in a seamless way. Supernal SA-2 The Supernal SA-2 offers a bright look at how short-range electric flight could fit naturally into everyday city travel. Developed by Supernal LLC, a United States-based advanced air mobility division within the Hyundai Motor Group, this electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft is designed as a piloted air taxi for urban and regional trips. It carries one pilot and four passengers, using fully electric propulsion to deliver smooth and efficient flight. The SA-2 features eight tilting rotors arranged in a distributed electric propulsion system. This configuration allows it to rise vertically and then transition gracefully into forward flight while keeping noise levels lower than many conventional aircraft. It is planned to cruise at about 120 miles per hour at typical low-altitude urban flight levels. Each trip is designed to cover distances of roughly 25 to 40 miles, making it well-suited for crossing busy metropolitan areas quickly and cleanly. Safety is a central focus of the design, with multiple redundant systems and a strong airframe built to meet demanding aviation standards. Its compact cabin and electric power system make it a natural fit for vertiport operations within cities. With testing and certification moving forward, the SA-2 is aiming for commercial service around 2028, supporting a future where quiet electric air taxis help ease congestion and connect communities more efficiently. Moya Aero Moya the Moya Aero Moya EVTOL brings a positive and forward-focused approach to electric cargo flight, offering a cleaner way to move goods through the air. Developed by Moya Aero in São José dos Campos, Brazil, this aircraft reflects the company's focus on autonomous logistics and next-generation cargo solutions. It is designed as a fully electric, unmanned vertical takeoff and landing vehicle built specifically to transport cargo efficiently while producing zero direct emissions. Constructed from lightweight composite materials, the Moya Evetol features a streamlined airframe with front and rear wings paired with multiple rotors. This layout allows it to lift vertically, transition smoothly into forward flight and operate with reduced noise. Typical configurations support payloads of up to about 440 pounds, with a range that varies between roughly 68 and 118 miles, depending on the model and mission setup. Cruising speeds for larger variants can reach close to 100 miles per hour, making it suitable for steady and reliable cargo movement. The aircraft relies entirely on electric propulsion and is intended for practical logistics roles, such as supplying remote or hard-to-reach communities, supporting agricultural operations and strengthening regional freight networks. With active flight testing underway, Moya Aero is refining the platform and preparing for commercial operations in the mid-2020s, contributing to a more efficient and environmentally responsible future for aerial cargo delivery. Leo Flight Solo Jet Bike The Leo Flight Solo Jet Bike offers an exciting and approachable way to experience personal electric flight at very low altitude. Built by Leo Flight Corporation in the United States, this single-seat electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft is designed as a recreational flying vehicle that feels closer to a flying motorcycle than a traditional aircraft. It is intended to operate under FAR Part 103 Ultralight Rules, which means basic use does not require a pilot license, making personal flight more accessible to a wider audience. Powered by a solid-state battery, the Solo Jet Bike uses a network of 48 small, ducted electric fans positioned around its frame. This distributed setup allows it to lift straight up, hover smoothly, and maintain steady control close to the ground. Flight is designed for low altitude operation, with hover heights limited to about 15 feet, a top speed near 60 miles per hour, and a typical flight time of roughly 10 to 15 minutes per charge. 
With a compact footprint of about 6.5 by 6.5 feet, the Solo Jet Bike can be stored in a standard garage and charged at home, much like an electric car. Stability and reliability come from the multiple electric fans working together, while a built-in roll frame adds an extra layer of pilot protection during low-altitude flight, creating a confident and enjoyable personal flying experience. ATIA. The ATA offers a fresh and forward-looking approach to regional air travel, combining clean technology with practical performance. Developed by Ascendance Flight Technologies in France, this hybrid electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft is designed to blend electric and conventional propulsion, reducing noise and emissions while enabling longer flights than traditional helicopters. The cabin accommodates one pilot and four passengers, featuring large windows that provide a bright, airy environment. Lift comes from eight vertical rotors, while two horizontal propellers handle forward flight. Its hybrid system, the Sterna Hybrid Pack, uses battery power for vertical takeoff and landing and a fuel-based engine for cruising, with future plans to incorporate sustainable fuels or hydrogen. Performance targets include a cruise speed of around 124 miles per hour and a range near 248 miles with a full cabin, extending to roughly 497 miles with fewer passengers. Ground turnaround is designed to be about 10 minutes, helping keep operations smooth and efficient. With significantly lower noise and emissions compared to conventional rotorcraft, the ATA points toward a cleaner, more accessible future for regional air mobility.